hello friends welcome back to cat cam station today in this video tutorial i'm going to show you that how you can design a simple mechanical component this tutorial is for beginners so make sure you watch this video till the end as you can see on your screen we have a template model of a mechanical component which is called suspension component which is very important part of a suspension assembly so you will be able to learn how to design this there are lots of other uh, ways that you can approach in this design uh, particular design feature so but for the sake of teaching you new commands uh, by using an x12 so i'm going to give you the information about how to use sweep uh, feature to create a circular uh, arc type of this tube and uh, using the same sweep command you will be able to learn how to uh, create sweep cut feature the and so that to make in the hollow inside tube kind of structure then you will be able to learn how to use a uh, mirror command for the features solid features so create a feature and make a mirror of it so and the end you you will be able to learn how to um, see inside of your component as you can see on your screen uh, we have a section view so you will be able to learn how to uh, create a section view of your solid model so this tutorial is going to be a beginners friendly so make sure you watch this video till the end and if you like this video so make sure you subscribe like share and uh, if you have any doubts so write below into the comment section i will be glad to give you answers of your questions so without making uh, any delays for this video tutorial let's get started so as you can see we are inside the uh, our working area so as usual to start with creating a sketch so hit the sketch and select the plane of your choice so i'm gonna select this vertical plane and click ok as we have a circular or, or arc shape to create this feature i'm gonna create an arc or a simply you can click o, o on your keyboard to create a circle start from its origin select the datum and drag it out so the central uh, radius we are given is uh, 134 so 134 multiply by uh, multiply by 2 gives you the diameter of your circle here is the diameter of circle now i'm gonna uh, trim this circle in half to in order to do that i'm gonna create a line which is going to passing through its origin there are two ways that you can um, uh, you can apply constraint to this center point to this uh, center origin of the datum so first thing is you can uh, click c on your keyboard to activate the geometrical constraint dialog box you can uh, click uh, coincident and then you can select from the uh, you can click the center and the center but there is one more way that you can achieve the same result without hitting c on your keyboard you can directly hover over the line and it will bring up the center point click on it or select the midpoint and center of the circle like this as you can see we have a shortcut appear what kind of thing that you want to do with it we have coincident you can simply click on it it will pass through it as simple as it is so now hit t on your keyboard trim out the lines which you don't need like this now i'm gonna make it reference so click on it like this and make it a reference line we no longer need this line i need this just to uh, cut this circle in half so now you can exit the sketch by clicking q on your keyboard now again you can click on this sketch select the top plane and click ok so on the other sketch i'm gonna click o and i'm gonna draw a circle of diameter 108 so as you can see the end point of this arc is uh, highlighted so click and uh, start point drag it out enter the diameter 108 so as you can see you can exit the command line you can change the view to see what it looks like 
now there is a thing we are in the the sketch is activate right now so once you want to um, extrude or sweep this feature it is uh, just uh, keep in mind that we have sketch in activate mode in order to sweep this feature along this path or the arc you have to navigate through this as you can see here is the menu insert sweep and sweep along guide there is one more place where you can find this option is under the uh, surface surface more and here is the sweep along guide there are uh, two places where you can find this uh, command if you don't know where is that you can also type in here like sweep and hit enter it will give you the location like here as you can see here it will show you the position where it is exactly so this is how you can find it so again go to surfaces more and sweep along guide once you click on it as you can see we are under the activated uh, sketch mode so it will automatically select the curve now is the time to select the guide so highlight or click on the guide and click here guide it will make a curve or it will show you the sweep feature you can click ok now rotate the view now is the time to create a cut feature sweep cut feature so go to sketch select the face and click ok like this hit o on your keyboard start a circle from the center and we can see that the diameter is 80 millimeter now exit and uh, rotate the view now i am not going to create the guide uh, again we're gonna use the guide which we have created before but we cannot select it right now because it is not visible to make it visible you can go to view and see through now you will be able to see the guide which is inside of the solid sweep feature now you can click Q on your keyboard to exit the sketch just in case if you accidentally exited the sketch and how to use the sweep feature after that go to home surface more and sweep along guide now as you can see when we exited the sketch it is not longer detect it itself so we have to make a selection of it select it select the sketch and select the guide like this under the boolean operation from none to subtract and click ok go to view and make it rigid body as you can see we have a hollow tube which is in arc formation or something like that now is the time to create a extrude feature as you can see on your screen we're gonna extrude two circles so in order to do that so one more thing let me just show you what I'm trying to say here is go to home start sketching select the face and click OK uh, first of all control W and hide the sketches which we don't need right now now click O on your keyboard and draw the circle as you can see the diameter is 84 click and enter 84 and place the same diameter of circle on the other side now is the time to create a constraint symmetric so center of the circle another center of the circle and the vertical y-axis now it is symmetrical as you can see it is symmetrical in order to make these center point passing through the origin you have to or you can simply click the center of this and the center of datum plane and make it horizontal like this now as we can see that the uh, the position or the center of this circle from its center position is 124 millimeter in order to give the dimension hit D on your keyboard 
select the center of the circle and the vertical y axis drag it out and enter 124 millimeter and close it and exit the sketch now is the problem what is the problem here the thing is we already uh, have a extrude cut feature inside of it and if we try to extrude this circle and which is going to passing through the center of this or intersecting from the this uh, arc shape it will create a extrude feature inside of it but we don't need uh, we need hollow seamless hollow from inside and whatever the extrusion comes from this surface to the above so we have already created the sweep feature so if we trying to extrude uh, this sketch which we have created right now it will fill this hole or the tube so we don't need it so how are we gonna uh, rectify this problem there this is very simple you can or you have the ability that you can drag the features up and down to change its order and how we're gonna do this just like click or drag the feature down like this now we have sketch on the top of this sweep cut feature now you can hide it for the time just for now now is the time to extrude select the sketch change its position orientation and uh, as we can see that the length of this extrusion from the bottom is 197 so enter 197 and click under the boolean operation from subtract to unite and click ok here it is so as we can see that the extrude feature is uh, still coming after the sweep feature so you can drag the extrude above the sweep so if you want to let me show you what is this look like when you check this box and here you can see that we have extrude feature and seamless hollow from its inside so this is how you can uh, manipulate from your uh, history menu you can drag and uh, up and down the feature to uh, make changes to your main component this comes handy when you are working or you make some accidentally mistakes so this is how you can rectify your problems this is one of the solution from many problems so now is the time to create extrude cut feature on top of this feature as you can see it is 44 millimeter of diameter select it top of it and click ok hit o on your keyboard start from the center and a 44 millimeter of diameter and place the circle on the other surface now rotate it hit x on your keyboard change the direction of your extrusion and uh, under the end condition select it until next and uh, under the boolean operation select from unite to subtract and click ok Control plus w hide your sketch now you can see what it looks like now is the time to apply the edge blend as you can see we have 10 millimeter of radius so enter the value 10 millimeter select rotate it select the inner edge as well and click ok so what is left now as you can see the radius or the edge blend option or edge blend is applied now now is the time to create a ring at the uh, bottom of this surface so the major diameter is a 120 millimeter diameter so select the uh, this plane change its orientation a little bit go to sketch select it 
and click OK. Now what I'm going to do is, as I already select this plane, so you can change its orientation, select the line, just highlight the, the inner circle from here and click here, center of the arc and drag it downwards. So why I do that? I'm going to create a ring here so I'm gonna use a revolve command and this is my central axis along or around which my feature is going to rotate so now you can exit now is the time to create sketch on the same plane here so as you can see here the radius is 4 millimeter so the diameter is going to be 8 millimeter like this hit L start from the center sorry hit L to activate the line command and drag it out select it and make it reference because we don't need it as a solid extrusion or revolve feature now select this arc and this this is not working so you can select C and select tangent and make it tangent to the bottom surface now you can hit D on your keyboard start from this and outer and give the radius of the diameter so 120 divided by 2 is 60 as you can see now you can close now is the time to make a little bit make a rectangle like this because I want to create a closed loop which is going which is going to be intersect by this solid wall so again I'm gonna hit C on my keyboard making it tangent with this one and what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna hit T and I'm gonna trim all the lines like this now it is intersecting with the solid body exit and drag it a little bit here it doesn't matter because we're gonna use a combined feature so a little bit here now go to extrude and revolve so section is selected as it is under the vector select this so now it is revolving around the center as you can see here it is revolving around the center of the axis which we have created before you can leave the boolean as it is i will show you why this is another technique you can select a unite but I'm gonna leave it as it is because I'm going to apply a mirror command and after applying the mirror command I'm going to use boolean operation separately to join this with the uh, solid body which we have created here so click OK in order to do a mirror command you can go to more and here is the mirror feature so once you click on it so here they will ask on the mirror feature dialog box select the feature so where is the feature this is the feature we have which we want to mirror so select it like this and the plane they asks for the plane select the plane so select this plane so it is picking the center point of this circle you can click ok as you can see here now it is time to join these two ring with this so let me show you how it looks like so before joining them i would like to show you how to do section view of the solid body so go to view click on this clip section and click on edit section once we do this it will show you the section view of your component you can change the plane or direction of cutting or you can select z like this so you can under the offset value you can change the position of your 
section so hit zero like this to make it at the center of this there are other option available to parallel planes of box i will show you these in some other tutorials but for now you have to be focused on one plane so click ok Control plus w and you can hide this sketch or you can also hide your coordinate systems like this while zooming in as you can see we have two bodies intersecting with each other in order to join them you can use combine boolean operation separately so in order to do that you have to go to menu insert and uh, go to combine here it is and select unite click on it select the target body this is our target body and what are the tools these two surface or solid bodies are the tools so as you can see here now you can click ok now once you zoom on it you can see that it is completely joined with this it is not no more clipping seen here so you get the point right so this is it my friends this is uh, how you can create a solid component or mechanical component suspension component and uh, what you have learned from this a uh, video tutorial uh, summarizing it again uh, what we have do, done here is we draw a circle which is the center or you can say the central circle which is going to be act as a path we draw a circle over here then we use a sweep command which you can select from the menu or you can uh, select it from under the surface and more to use this sweep along guide to uh, create a solid sweep feature and using the same technique creates a solid cut feature and uh, while extruding these two uh, extrusion or the features uh, we manipulate uh, the uh, numbering of extrusion and sweep up and down uh, while we are working or creating this in order to uh, retain our cavity as it is so this is how we're gonna we work with it so after that we use edge blend feature then uh, we use the section view which you can uh, go under the views select clip section and edit then you will find the all the tools available for adjusting your section view of your component and then we draw the uh, circular ring by using the rotating command along the central axis which we have created here then uh, revolve it then we use a mirror command which is under more home more and mirror feature so we mirror this feature onto this side and after that we uh, use the combined uh, feature combine boolean operation under insert and combine and unite then it will become the whole one component which you can use it or write so i hope you learn something new from me and uh, you are able to draw or use these commands to create your own project or you work you can work with your own projects so i hope you uh, enjoyed this video tutorial so if you like it so make sure you subscribe like share with um, share with your friends and uh, if you have some doubt uh, then you can leave below into the comment section you're watching CatCam station signing out for now